Cowboys 40, Vikings 3. Um, Hank, you're a Vikings fan. You want to want to speak about this game? Season's over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the you fact, done chained them? The fact that you jumped on, we've been so adamant that the Vikings are frauds and you're like, "You know what? They're good." And then this happens. That was a brutal twist. Yeah, not good. And then and then I will say this to Vikings fans. If you lose to the Patriots Thursday, then the season's done. Whose line is it anyway? I know. You guessed is. three and a half. Is. Is the yeah. game, I said it was three. Is the game in New England? No, it's in Minnesota. I said three when we when Hank and I were talking about it earlier. He said three and a half. I said three. I'm gonna say it's Vikings. Vikings five. Three. What is it? It's three? Okay. Yeah, because I figured like three and a half, everyone would just jump on that. All the sharps, as they say. Hmm. Uh, the Vikings are eight and two with a negative point differential. Yeah. They minus two. Minus point two. differential. And we talked last week about how they were uh the second worst point differential of any team to ever be eight and one. The number one team was I think the seventy six Raiders who ended up winning the Super Bowl that year. Yep. So every Vikings fan was like, see, we can we can do it too. They did it. They had John Madden as a coach. Oh. He was pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Uh this is the worst Vikings home loss since nineteen sixty three. Ooh, that's bad. That stings. So, out of a hundred team, hundred ten teams ever to go eight and two, they are the worst when it comes to point differential. Oof, hundred. That, that's a pretty big sample size. And listen, I, I don't want to say we're right, but goddamn, we're right. We have been right. Yeah. Oh, Hank, don't give me that face. It's week eleven. The Vikings. The have, Vikings got their pants. The Vikings out. have played two. Really good NFC teams, and they've gotten absolutely smoked by both of them. Like what the, about N- the Bills, you're right. The but we're talking about the NFC and the playoffs in the NFC. The Vikings have had like the NFC is wide open, absolutely wide open. But you'd have to say the Cowboys and Eagles are somewhere in the top, and they've gotten smoked by them, absolutely smoked by them. And this one was never close. It was. Not only the Cowboys' offense and Tony Pollard just being an absolute freak show, electric factory. It was Kirk Cousins fumbling on the first drive, and like it's a good start. It was just hey, he didn't throw any interceptions. Yeah, that's good. Well, he threw what like a, a hundred five yards. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he was uh, he was under he he was the Kirk Cousins that uh, nice guy, good quarterback when things are going well, but man, did things not go well. Are they gonna that. are they gonna do anything like goofy stuff with chains and? Mm. I don't know. Put PFT. their jewelry on them after this game. I just I I needed this one. I needed this one to to feel. And sometimes it does. It feels good to be right about a stupid take that we have. Well, and it's also just a reminder that like I think the the Vikings are still a good team. They still will go to the playoffs. But we know, like this was just a this was just a, a little uh, message from the future. Yeah, being like, don't worry, guys. Oh, listen, the, the don't Vi- worry. The Vikings are still a, a, a very good NFC team, but I don't think they're going to do any damage. I'm feeling very confident about the status of my ass with the Kirk Cousins tattoo situation. Yeah. I feel real good about that. I might double down on it and say, like, I'll get two ass cheek tattoos of Kirk Cousins. Mm. I'm not saying it yet, but I'm I'm feeling confident enough to the point where, like, I'm feeling really good about, about the bets that we've made. Fun little stat that came out of this game, uh, kind of similar to that Panthers thing. The last seven teams that have beaten the Buffalo Bills lose next week. Ooh, Bills beat it out of you. They beat it out of you. So it goes back to 2001, all the way back to... Uh, wait, wait, what? Or Sorry, 2021. I was going to say, what the fuck? All the, where, where we've been missing out on money. Yeah, all, uh, the Jaguars, when they when they beat the Bills, remember that? 9-6, yeah. to six, the legendary game. Then they lose to the Colts the next week, going all the way back there. So it's a trend to keep your eyes out on. Okay. Yeah, that is a trend. I we got to that absolutely is a, a trend we need to start betting. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, this game. It was this just funny. It was uh it was kind of funny. It, it was just very getting, funny. It just kept getting worse. I th- this game was over when at halftime Brett Maher, who I always want to say Dan Dan Bailey's just the kicker on on the Cowboys. Yep. Brett Maher made two consecutive 61-yard field goals because yeah. they had to like do a last minute Review of a CD Lamb catch, which was an incredible throw and catch. Dak Prescott, yeah. I think I saw the stat. It was a it was a yard and a half out of bounds when he yeah. caught it. Like that's so far out of bounds. Yep, and, and he caught it. And uh, the kick, the first kick 
goes through, makes it by probably like a yard on the right section of the crossbar. And then they're like, oh, he has to kick it again. No chance he makes it again. It's 61-yard field goal. And then his second kick is even better yeah. than the first one. It's like, okay, this game's over. This game is officially over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not going to just rub it in on Vikings. There's still a lot of season left. Uh, but they know. They know we know. And we know they know. In, in that's, a, the, that's the best way to sum this whole thing up. Yeah, in, in a sick, twisted way. Kirk Cousins fucked me again on this one. Why? Because it would have been great if you beat the Cowboys for Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. and he just absolutely he shit the bed. But we know we know that you know. Yep. And we know. And it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. You gotta still root for your eight and two team. Don't apologize for being eight and two. No. The Vikings will probably end up winning. I'll say I actually think they'll win twelve games. I think they'll go twelve and four. Okay? And they'll be looking good. They'll have a home playoff game. They might even have two home playoff games, actually. Right? Yeah. I mean, a they lot have of two home. Playoff a lot of games. stuff could happen because they only have two losses. Right. They, but they, they. I think they're going to finish twelve and four. They're going to be very good. Twelve and five. What? Twelve and five. Twelve and five. Sorry, twelve and five. My bad. Twelve and five. So actually, I might even say that thirteen and four. Thirteen and four. They're going to finish thirteen and four. That's going to be a great record. They're going to win the North easily. They're going to have two home playoff games, and what happened today will happen again. And I won't take pleasure in it, but I have to report the facts. Uh, it's our it's our duty to report the facts. I take no pleasure in reporting this, Big Cat. I think I think the Vikings are only going to lose maybe one more game this season. Yeah, no, they they're. I think that there's a good chance. I'm we're we're gloating a little bit as is our right, but there's a good chance that the Vikings could end up with with home field advantage. Yeah, they play the Patriots and the Jets next two games at home with a mini buy after the Patriots. So yeah, if they win Thursday night, I I would agree with you because it's Lions, Colts, Giants, Packers and Bears who are going to be dead by that time of the season. Yep. Yeah, I I'm saying right now 13 and 4 is is absolutely what they're going to be. I think and they it, might be and it might be even better. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit better than that. So just just rest on that. You're going to win 13 games at least. And then this is going to happen and we're going to come right back to these seats. And again, I don't I hate to do this cuz I'm just reporting the facts. And uh, Vikings fans I think are they're great people. They are. There's nothing against Vikings fans out yeah. there. If you are a Vi- God bless you. Like you've dealt with your fair share of shit over the years. Um but at the end of the day, um, we need to have an understanding that this is not personal between us and that you know that we know yeah. that you know that we know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. I have uh, I have one like door to our castle that's open that I'm a little worried about uh, Wisconsin playing Minnesota on Saturday for, for the axe. So I would like Wisconsin to win that. So because that's. Like there'll be some Vikings fans that will scurry in that door of our fortress, mm-hmm. and that will suck for me personally. Um, but then we'll go back to just regular. That's fine. I mean, like, listen. <laughs> I know, I know that door's open. I've been thinking about it. I literally started thinking about it last night, and I can't get it out of my head that like I'm gonna have to deal with those mentions. And then you know what? I'll I'll deal with it like a man. I'll take it head on. But uh, that other than that, the fortress is is locked up. I I actually think that this is the type of of loss that could actually be good psychologically for Vikings fans because you know, as we've said, like, right. you know, these last, the, the two losses that you have on your schedule, you know, exactly they're glaring where the expert and there will be as they continue to win. And as they maybe win a playoff game or two playoff games, the, uh, the Vikings army will swell throughout the playoffs, but it will be, all for a moot point, and I think you'll understand that. Yeah. It'll be the least enthusiastic giant army of all time. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll see you back here, uh, same time, same place, uh, somewhere around the divisional, so what maybe even NFC Championship. What yeah. we're doing is actually genius for us because the Vikings are going to continue to win. Yeah. And and you're not, at home, allowed to get mad at us right. about the Vikings winning because we're telling you, like, we know. you guys are going to kick ass. You guys right. are going to win a shitload of games. This is the part that we know. Yeah. But you know the other part. Yeah, yeah. the other part is the key part that we also know. I'm not going to say what that other part is. 